Yo, 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 good morning. Grateful for another maggot-free day above the dirt, Jersey Shore. Check it out. Uh, just because the sun is not visible doesn't mean it's not there, right? You can always see the light in the strangest of places if you look at it right. So, um... Today's talk is uh, on taking refuge, and it's kind of been on my mind because obviously um, kind of shelter in place is taking refuge, right? And um, now that people are, are um, you know, abandoning that to protest it um, under the guise of their rights. Um, I'm not going to get political and I'm not going to get into that, but it's, it's all been on my mind because of that. And, um, you know, first of all, as Buddhists, we say, you know, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma and the Sangha. The Dharma being the teachings or better yet, the truth of the teachings, the na- truth of the nature of existence and our place in it. Um, we take refuge in the Buddha um, as our teacher, as, um, as the um, inspiration, as our, um, as our motivator, and um, the Sangha in our community. So I add to that in my morning um, aspirational chants. I say, you know, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, in oneness, diversity, and harmony, in not knowing, bearing witness, loving action. I will be free from suffering and live at ease. I will be wise, generous, and loving, and not stuck in delusion, greed, or hatred. I will be liberated from my conditioning, from my ingrained, fixed ideas, and from my habitual, reactive conditioning. So, um... You know, I take refuge not only in what helps me do this, but I take refuge in doing it itself, right? We take refuge in in our wisdom, in our insight, in the teachings, in where the teachings come from, in the community that helps us learn the teachings and supports us in in doing the teachings, turning them into action, skillful action. But um, I also take refuge in the actions themselves, Doing Buddhism, not believing in it, doing it, is taking refuge within it. So, um, in terms of taking refuge, a lot of people, and this is kind of where I'm, I'm tying it into what's going on now with protesters not wanting to stay home and risking their lives and everyone else's lives by uh, not doing so. Um, because refuge... Um, a lot of times people add to it this feeling of giving up, of surrendering, of losing some type of battle, of uh, that viewing it as being weak um, and needy. You know, I can't handle this myself. I I have to take refuge. I need help. And, um, you know, nothing could be farther from the truth. To take refuge, first of all, Um, is not being weak. It takes great strength to turn away from our conditioned thinking and our habitual reactivity and do something different. It takes enormous strength. Weakness is giving in to the unhealthy and the unwholesome. Okay? Um, Taking refuge is something I'm doing myself. It, no one can take refuge for me. Nobody could provide refuge for me. I have to take refuge myself. So this, this thought of I can't do it by myself or I'm weak or I'm needy, um, no. It, it, it's if I have the desire to transform and transcend my existence in a spiritual way, um, that is strength because it means you're a one percenter. It means most people go through life, you know, mindless, robotic-like, zombie-like, going through the motions, never looking past, 
you know, the superficial sur uh, surface of sense pleasures and the pursuit of them or the avoidance of um, unpleasant ones. So to say, I'm going to do this spiritual practice, I'm, it's revolutionary, it's a rebellion, it's totally just like the Buddha, anti-status quo, anti-establishment. It, it takes incredible yin-yangs to stay on a Buddhist path, um, especially when everyone else around you isn't, okay? So taking refuge is not surrendering in the sense of a negative con connotation. It's winning. It's saying, you know what? I'm going to win this fight. I'm going to overcome. I'm going to rise above. You can't rise above by hiding. You can't rise above by being weak and needy. The only way to rise above is to, is to be empowered, is to be strong, is to be um, persevering, is to be dedicated and devotional and, um, and completely committed. So to take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha, and, and, in, and with all that entails is um, to stand upon this, not hide behind it, stand upon it, carry it like a shield into battle, being a spiritual warrior, okay? So the next couple of videos, I'm going to leave it there. I got a little... Uh, animated with that. But I feel passionate about this topic. Um, being spiritual is not hiding from the world. It, it's blazing a trail through it. And um, that is um, something very few people do successfully. So um, the next few videos are going to be on a few different topics tied into this one. It's, I'm going to start talking about false refuge. I'm going to start talking about improper thinking and um, things that, that um, give us um, trouble taking refuge, things that are, are counterproductive, things that um, we struggle with to take our refuge. Um, and that'll help understand the process of taking refuge and, and specifically through um, through the workings of the mind, okay? Because the refuge starts with our, a refuge way of thinking, redirecting our mind in, in a different way. All right, so have a grateful, maggot-free day above the dirt. See the sunshine um, in your heart if you don't see it in the sky. And uh, peace out.